Hello everyone. I've been a ham for 25 years. I started in 1991, but I was only introduced to D Star in 2012, and I've been very much active on all digital modes since then. But before that, I was concentrating my activity over HF. And I receive a lot of email almost every day, every week, uh, of people joining the digital communication group uh, after being a ham for several years doing mainly HF. And I thought to myself, maybe I can do something as I bring people from HF to digital communication, maybe I can do the reverse, so bring digital communication operators to HF. And I thought maybe I can introduce a low-cost SDR receiver for HF so they can uh, enjoy and start playing with those bands. And I thought of the RTL SDR, which I tried in 2013 as I was using it as a pan adapter for my HF at the time, which was the FTDX3000. But as I remember, it was complicated to set up. So you need a hub converter and you know, it was not simple. So I start looking and I found the SDR play. The SDR play has been recommended as well from my friends, but the SDR play is still a low cost SDR receiver, but it's a more complete package that is meant specifically for amps. So tonight I will be unboxing the SDR play RSP1. So let's start the unboxing and in the next few days, well it will be a, I will be mostly cutting a, <laughs> An envelope okay so there's the package there you go so there's the SDR play so just take a look at it and I will explain a little bit more what this does so it's a very small package and it has a lot to offer, so don't be impressed by the size of it. Like all new technologies, the impressive part resides in the software. And what is fun about it is that you get the SDR UNO software, which the software alone used to work more than the SDR Air. It's cost $129 US, and so a little bit more than a RTL SDR, but if you're considering the price of the um, uh, up converter, so this is a very good deal. Very good deal, all in package in one. So, professional packaging. You can look at their website. You have the website here, sdrplay.com, and you will find this little device. Hold on. There's an SMA. Connector on it, okay, so you can get some adapters on eBay or Amazon or your local AM store and a USB port. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a review of this. I will install it, film the process to show you how to set it up and uh, give you a feeling of what it, uh, this SDR is able to do. It does cover from 10 kilohertz to 2 gigahertz, all mode. So I will have to check out for the digital mode, but it will do all the common mode that you find on the HF. And um, this device uh, also gives you a nice view uh, of the spectrum of 10 kilohertz, oh, sorry, 10 megahertz wide of the band. So if you want to use it as a pan adapter on your HF rig, I know that people are using it on the Kenwood TS590. You can also use it on any rig that has uh, an IF output so you can use it with that or you can use it as well with uh, what I have here DX engineering uh, that is able to handle two receiver or you can use it as a standalone if you want to experiment with HF radio and all the other band or if you are a software listener or a am to be in the future this could be where the, the, the place to start for you since it's a receiver you can buy it online you can buy it in some store in the US and around the world. So stay tuned for my next video. 
that I will show you how to install it. So in the next few days, you should have something online. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe as usual. See you later. 73.